Yo, dude. Hey, man. What are you doing today? Uh, so today we're going to do a, uh, a dino tutorial, like an entry-level dino tutorial. Nice. Jake's known for his dinos. Uh, what did you just send in front? Um, last week I did Rainbow Rocket, which is uh, 8A in Fontainebleau. So you know he's qualified. Very it's high. Legit. So yeah, we're going to do some dinos and start the shit. So the first of two exercises we're going to do is um, learning to release two points of contact. Most of the time in climbing you'll take one hand off the wall and do a move. With anything dynamic, usually you're going to be taking both hands off the wall. Uh, and that's the first step. So pick a good starting handhold on maybe a vertical wall or a slab. It's nothing too overhung to start off with. Um, pick two good feet so you're nice and balanced. And what we want to do is make sure our feet stay in contact, that we take both hands off at the same time, like this. Um, and we can vary that up quite a lot. So you can go both to the higher one, or both to the low one, both you know, out, you go to the erect, you go to the jug at the same time. As long as they're both coming off the wall at the same time, that'll um, get you in dynamic mode. Cool, get you used to letting go. Letting go. <laughs> Right, okay. Jake. Exercise number two. Exercise number two is all about commitment. Um, dinoing is a is a game of commitment, and a lot of I people. Thought you were about to give me a relationship advice. <laughs> I was really excited. You don't need any of that. Amazing. <laughs> um, so a lot of people, when they start climbing, are um, they're, they're scared of falling off the wall for a start, um, and leaving the wall with all four points is the, the worst thing. You know, like they can't imagine doing it. Um, but it's essential that we do this exercise so you can start to dyno. Um, so what we're gonna do is we'll move to a slightly overhanging wall, pick two good starting holds, two good feet, hop down into bent knees and then explode from the wall. You're not going to a hold, you're just coming off the wall. Let all four points go. Cool. That make sense? Yeah, just make sure you land on your feet, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you lack commitment, you'll see a lot of people trying to hold on for dear life with one one point of contact, usually a hand. So quite often they want to do this and let go, but they'll actually just do this and, and keep holding on for dear life. You have to let go, you have to commit. Yeah, all or nothing. Mm -hmm. If you go half fast, you're gonna lose it. Yes. Cool. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So we're now we're gonna add the catch. So we've we've released all four points of contact. Once you're used to that, you can now start uh, going for a hold and trying to hold it yep. and then completing your first dyno. Um, so we just want to make sure all four points of contact leave the wall. Awesome. Let's like do these. It. First off, for beginners, keep to big holds, uh, keep to big feet, make sure your starting position is really balanced like it was in the other exercises. So we're going to stick to an overhang because if you fall off, you don't want to hit all the holds on the way down. So I'll give you a little demo. So two good starting holds, two good feet. So what you want to do is squat down and push everything out of your legs. At the same time, pull with your arms. And I'm going to go to that double handle. So it's not very far. It's kind of like a, a good stand up with your right leg. Commit to it fully. If you half commit and almost catch it, you're more likely to half catch and then fall and hurt yourself. You don't want to fuck it. Cool. Um, let's move on to another one, I'll talk about feet. We're going to be going from the, the big spotty jug with a high right foot on the blue and a low left foot on this, this spotty here. Um, because our right foot is the higher one, it's going to be the last point of contact. So your right leg really needs to lock out completely. Full power. Oh yeah, all, all climbing needs to be fluid. Yeah, 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 especially with the dinos. Dinos are one motion, it's one movement. Not to, unless you unless we get complex, we can do that in a later series. But this one, one big movement. Cool. Okay, so so the next point um, is about staying close to the wall. So when I try and latch these two holds, I want to make sure my my chest and my hips are quite close to the wall. If if I'm out here, for example, if I go back here, it's going to be really hard for me to latch them. But if I keep my chest close. They're right there. You can get them every time. <clears throat> okay. So, so final exercise, the, the most advanced in the basic area of dynoing. 
Um, we're going to try this yellow. Um, so it's personally, I don't think it's that far. It's not that hard. Um, right, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the holds are good. You know, you got two. You got a big jug to go from and a big jug to catch. Um, the complexity comes in the direction. So you're, instead of going straight up, you're going to go way out to the left. So the swing is quite wild and you have to make sure you enter the dyno with the right direction of momentum. Does that make sense? Yeah, the right direction of your velocity. Quite nice. Sure, whatever. Science. <laughs> All right, Science. show us, buddy. Quite a lot of times when you see people struggling with sideways dynos or the direction of a dyno, um, they mine they might use their body like, like this, and then they'll try it at the last minute to go sideways. So when I think I'm dynoing to that yellow hold over there, I make sure as I swing towards it, my chest and everything is going that way. When you try and create your initial momentum, you wanna be, you wanna be swinging sideways. So when, so when you release, you're naturally gonna fall that way. Head first, body follows. It's all, it's all one line. Stick to that line with the build up, everything. Well, show me the money. <clears throat> so just one thing, um, your left foot is going to be the last thing to leave the wall because it's slightly higher than the right. So focus everything on locking that left leg out as much as you can. Nice and hard. So sideways there, uh, momentum, and then whoosh. That was the end of our tutorial. I hope it went well. I mean, well, I mean, I know it went well. Yeah, of course it went well. I hope you went well. I hope you don't die. That's all I care about. So hopefully we'll be doing some more advanced tutorials soon. Jake's um, gonna be doing stuff like... Double, double dinos, uh, rainbow rocket style step up dinos, going to a single, going to slopers, going like drop down, <laughs> drop up. Loads of stuff. Double it's clutch, triple be... clutch, quadruple clutch, it's all good. It's gonna be bloody amazing. Anyway, okay. subscribe, like, share, insert, disseminate, spread. Bye.